Hi, welcome back. My name is Ashwini and if you are following this tutorial from the day one, then you have an idea. We have completed all these components like user detail and user detail service and user detail manager and all of these implementation as of this LDAP, right? So what is the agenda of today's videos? Let me tell you in previous video, we have seen like if I want to be use my JDBC user detail manager, which we have used in previous video, then I have given the name to this table that is user and uh, for this authority if i will give some other name then uh, my framework will not recognize that and it will not work right but suppose i have a strict requirement i don't want to use this predefined names okay you can ask me hey shuni i have a requirement i don't want to use these two tables for instant of username i want to take an email id and i don't want to use these tables okay i want to create my custom table i don't want to go for this predefined then yeah we have an, one way we can do that so this is agenda of today's video we will use the implementation for user detail service we will use the implementation because as you can uh, remember in uh, first video we check like for user detail we have an implementation called user class right so we given our custom implementation for this and we will maintain our user inside that okay and let's see how we gonna do that so for making a custom user I want to take one table here which I have created this so instead of taking username I am taking email and instead of taking as a password as a like which is a like a predefined requirement I have taken here PWD and in single table only I have created email password and role okay good nothing fancy nothing complex here till now yeah and I have created this one uh, data for our testing it will work or not okay and let me show you that so this is a data like one mark at the red gmail.com and uh, four times one admin okay to make a connection from my application to database what i will need okay because this is my application let's suppose this is my application right which i am writing a code this is my app and this is my database okay this is my database i want to make a this is my db and i want to make a connection from data application to db so I need what I'm using here. I'm using spring and data JPA. Okay. So we talked about spring data JPA in previous video and we already mentioned the uh, dependency in our pond.xml. Let me show you. So it is taking time. Okay. So we have already mentioned our spring data JPA dependency in previous video okay so now what can i do for making a connection from my application so that my application can understand this table so i want to go for entity i want to make one class so i have created one class under the package called com.spring security entity this class okay as you can see the package here now if you do not familiar with this spring data jpa thing do not worry about it whatever the requirement for our making like uh, to make you understand the spring security i will tell in this video if you are interested to more listen about this spring data jpa just go to my channel you will find it a dedicated video of one hour video on spring data jpa okay and i will mention the link of a spring data jpa in the description if you are interested just go through that now i want to create a one class that is customer as the same name with i have given here and entity ID because this is our primary key and auto generated because I have uh, given the thing here like auto generated okay the strategy type which I am doing generated like uh, generation type and email password and role whatever the exact name I am taking here the same name variable I am taking inside the class and for this I am just making a getter and setter nothing fancy nothing complex okay till here I think you are uh, pretty much clear what I am doing here right now now for making a connection and for, for making a retrieving or storing a data inside the database i need a repository so i have x making a one more uh, interface inside a repo uh, this uh, com.springsecurity.repo and i have creating an interface here that is a customer like i'm not uh, given a proper name here like custom re uh, repo here okay i just making a typo here so custom repository and uh, why i'm giving this to generic here is because this is my customer class and I am making a repository for customer okay and 
as an integer is my that the primary id type so i give in a long here and this is the like beauty of uh, spring data gpa i don't want to take anything i don't want to give an implementation for this abstract method just say find by email id and pass your email id it will give in a whatever the list of customer uh, it will similar to that particular email id okay yeah two things we have completed first is an uh, entity and first uh, second thing is repository now my uh, spring framework is do not understand this uh, customer class <clears throat> right because i have created this this class to because i want to make a connection from my spring to my sorry my this framework to my database right but let me open that uh, explorer here so now what the thing is my spring framework my spring security framework only understand the implementation of this user my spring framework will only able to understand the implementation for this user whatever the implementation you will give it will understand like either you are giving any custom implementation or you are using any uh, user class uh, like this here we are explaining right so i have because we want we are using here our custom implementation so i need to create my custom class so that is class i have created security custom security customer okay and implement user detail if you are implement this interface then we know like uh, very well i need to be overridden all these method and i give in the concrete implementation okay so i have only few method to be given concrete actually i have given a concrete implementation to all but i have given that true 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 like for check for credential and all I is enabled all true okay and for username and password this password i say okay uh, let me tell you the logic first then i will uh, tell you that this implementation i'm restricted the user whenever okay whenever my spring framework using this particular custom implementation it will pass this customer object and in, what is this object is this is a that class object entity class object whenever i get that entity class object then i am in a position to access that get a certain method so inside that authority i am just converting into the simple authority and passing that uh, role into that okay and returning that authorities and inside that password i am say okay customer dot get password and inside username customer dot email instead of username because this method if i use like in, in place of username if i will give a, another name then it will throw an error so that's why we are using our custom implementation so we will go for email get email okay because we are not using username and our column name is email that's why we are get email and we get this get a setter get email right yeah now this is the custom implementation for user detail not a user okay so now i think you are getting it in place of user i am using this and where i am maintaining all the users in my database and these are the matter which is responsible to giving me all the detail now one more thing as in here in project security i am using this for jdbc user detail manager i don't want to be use this as i am going with a custom so i want to use that user implementation okay user detail implementation and user detail service and why i am going for user detail service as you know this user detail service only have this one method load by user and my requirement till now is not to create or modify or update or delete user right that's why i'm not going for user detail manager my only requirement is to retrieve a data from the database that's why i'm going for this user detail service if you if you want to uh, like making some hands on if you want to do some hands on on user detail uh, manager then you can do it but right now my requirement is to just retrieve a data so that's why i'm going for this method uh, this particular user detail service because it has only one method and we know that this method is responsible to retrieve a data right to loading a data okay so came here i'm giving implementation to it what is implementation look at here we say okay list of customer give me and repo we are i need the repo object here which i have created here customer repo okay so that's why i say okay give me a repo i am auto add it and whatever the find by email id whatever the uh, you uh, get a customer okay if the size is zero just throw an error that customer detail not found this cust whatever the sorry user detail not found whatever the user detail you are passing and the, at the end because all time it will uh, it, uh, return a zero like uh, sorry one value so that's why i am saying whatever the index zero just return it okay so this is only a thing now 
everything we have covered from the dependency to like from entity and repo security and this uh, implementation of a user detail service now let me run the application then we will see the actual behavior of my application okay so let me run the application run as spring boot and let me open the chrome okay yeah it's opening and uh, let me check the application it is running uh, let me take it down yeah my application is up and running my uh, google chrome also ready and let me enter this let me uh, enter some other uh, credential like admin and 1234 whatever something wrong it will say bad credential and what is the actual credential this which i am adding mark at the red gmail.com and what is the password four times one so it will say balance like this okay so i think uh, our requirement is pretty clear how we can work with the customer like custom requirement right so let me erase all these things then we go for a next topic till now if you have like any uh, difficulty to understand all these just let me know uh, i will give you the uh, like all the answer of your questions whatever you have okay just comment it down so now what is our next topic is so our today's topic uh on like next topic is like uh, how spring security validate password as you know like we are setting a password in our database right so how this validation is going to happen so let me give you the idea so let's suppose you have configured your data like like this you have a user of admin and you have a like a password 123 right so this is your username uh, as we mentioned here this is your password and this is your login button okay so instead of login button we are firing a request direct from the like google chrome okay so let's suppose this is a like one request is coming okay and this is your application okay and when you're firing a request this is your db okay this is your db so with the help of load user by username this is a method the request coming to here the data is coming to here at application and it will check like uh, your admin and your password like one two three four whatever you're passing equals to one two three four if these two values are equal then okay login success and if these values are not equal then say 401 unauthorized access okay and it is fail so what you think uh, this is a way like a very nice way of following all these things like to validate a password no this is a not a good practice of doing this because as you can see here in database we have one table right one table with few columns okay and we have a data so let's suppose we have uh, multiple users of data in your application when you are real time and you are working when you can see like multiple people can use and in and place of user you are passing username and you are passing a password here you are storing sorry you are storing a username and password so like you can see the password it's okay but your dba like uh, who can see the password developer can see the password and who can see the dba and who can see the password your team members also can see the password right so this is not a good programming practice because you are not following any whatever you are not following here either you are not following any encoding okay or any hashing any hashing or and you are not following any encryption okay so these three things you are not following here either encoding hashing or encryption and these people can see your data developer you are a developer you can see db also can see and team member also can see right your data right so this is a not a good programming practice and one more thing like if i am passing a request from here right i will pass my request from here and we are not following any like uh, algorithm to my hiding a data so any one like in between like any one person in between here suppose without making any effort or any hard work it will can see your password like okay this person is passing a password one two three four how easy to hack right so this is not at all a good programming practice or good method of following so this thing we will see like what is the difference between this encoding hashing and uh, encryption in upcoming videos okay in next video we will discuss about it and after that we will see how we can overcome this problem okay 
Till then, I will see you in the next video. If you have any question, just comment it down. If you enjoy this video, just let me know and comment it down and share this video and do subscribe. Do not forward to subscribe. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye.